This is my Raspberry Pi timer project. Um, it's very simple electronics. Um, yeah, it's just a keypad, a display, and the previous from a previous project, a uh, real-time clock to make sure that the Raspberry Pi date and time remain even when it's switched off. Uh, on the side here, I've, I've made it up a little test board, which just shows LEDs um, showing when the timers uh, are switching. So the, the timer um, is basically the same as you would get on the central heating system. So central heating system timers just switch on or off the heater for the water or to turn off the heater for the central heating system itself. And they're just a switch and that, that's, that, that's all they do. Um, also you get timers when maybe you plug in your, your uh, appliances into the wall and then you can have a timer which turns them on and off at a certain time. So that, that's what this does and, and you can use it for any, any kind of timing uh, purpose like that. For this project, it's really a tutorial on how to program in Python. So I've the write-up I've, I've put in, in a way that breaks down the project into lessons and how the project evolved from the start. Uh, starting off at a very basic level for, for beginners and then sort of building up slowly, building up the concepts of Python and, and object orientation. Uh, so as far as the hardware goes, it's got a numeric keyboard here where you can enter values. Got a display which tells you uh, about things. So you can run it in a standalone mode. So you don't need to be plugged into a monitor or a, or a keyboard. Uh, and I'll take you through the basic menu items. So when you press the key, it takes you to the main menu and you can add a schedule item, delete a schedule item. The relays option shows you uh, the state of the relays at any particular time. Uh, the schedule is a list of the schedules which are currently in there. Set time allows you to set the system time of the Raspberry Pi. So when you plug in the, the R Raspberry Pi real-time clock, it may not be set correctly, but set time allows you to do that or adjust it if uh, the timing uh, is, is incorrect. And then there's the option to shut down. So if you press the six uh, option, it shuts down, which you kind of need when you don't have a keyboard attached because otherwise you don't really want to be unplugging the Raspberry Pi whilst it's running. Most of the time you don't get any issues at all, but sometimes it may corrupt the SD card, so it's best to have a nice clean way of shutting down. I'll go through the options one by one. So add a schedule item if I press one. It takes you to a place where you can uh, enter a start date and time. So this is the time when the timer will first trigger for this particular schedule. Uh, then uh, the, the period, so this is the period between the first time and the next scheduling and then the next scheduling and the next scheduling that'll keep on going if you enter a time of zero then it'll just trigger once and then the, the schedule will disappear uh, the relay number so I've used very small amount of GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi for the keyboard and display and all the others you can take out on extension this isn't all of the others it's just like a sample six of them uh, and on the Raspberry, this is just a standard Raspberry Pi on the Raspberry Pi Plus. You get more GPI pins, so you can you can switch as many as you want. And in the Python program, you can just add GPI pins to a, a variable, and 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 you can dynamically increase or re remove the number of GPI pins you use. So I'll, I'll enter a date and the time here. I can't remember what today's date date is, but I'll just put the twelfth. And if I say midnight. And then the period I'll put as every 15 seconds. And then relay, say one, so zero, one. And then state, the state you can be three things. So if it's zero, it, it's a, it programs it to switch off. If it's one, it programs the switch to switch on. And if it's two, then it will toggle. So if it was on, it will turn off. And if it's off, it will turn on. So on the central heating system, you would normally say at this time switch on, at this time switch off, and then that happens daily. So your repeat period would be, would be one day. Um, so I'll, I'll make it so it toggles, so I press two, and then press enter, and that's how I did the schedule. Now I've got a lot of schedules in there already anyway, doing the demonstration, so every second I've got these changing. So this one changes every second, this one changes every two seconds, then four seconds, then eight seconds and so on, just so it just does a kind of account. Um, and so if I go into Relays 3, I'll actually, um, yeah, 3, I'll show the delete one later. Uh, this shows you a 
summary of all the GPI pins and their current state, so you can see them updating as they go. And it also shows the current system date and time at the top. Hit enter to go back, it doesn't do anything other than that. But it's handy, I like to leave it on that screen and just watch them sort of switch. Uh, and then the schedule for, this is a list of all the schedule items. So every two lines is a schedule item and where the chevrons are, that's showing you which current schedule item is selected. If I press any keys along the top, it'll go up a schedule item. If I press any keys along the bottom, it'll go down the schedule item. So if I press the bottom key and then it just scrolls through the list showing me which each of the schedule items is. Okay, hit enter to return. Uh, set time. So I just enter a new system time there. I won't do it because it's currently set to the correct, correct system date and time. So if at any stage you want to abort, but you can just, without filling any entries in, if I just press enter, it will just say, oh, well, this isn't a valid system date and time, and it will just go back to the main menu. Or you can press the, the uh, oh, actually, that's the, that's the way to do it. <laughs> um, so that's gone back and it hasn't changed the system date and time. So if I go into delete, so number two, it's the same as the, sh the list of the scheduled items. So I can scroll through the, the list of items that are there and you'll see that actually when they trigger, they actually update in the list here real time. Uh, I can scroll through to one of the lower ones. And then if I hit enter, it'll ask me, am I sure? So I can either press a four, which means no, and it won't delete it. Or if I go in, I'll just, I'll delete this first one, uh, enter. Are you sure? Then six, and that deletes the first item. So the, the, the this one won't be switching anymore because I just deleted that one because that was one which was switching every second. Uh, and so it's a basic system like that. The the actual hardware itself is very simple, so a, a beginner could put together the hardware. The software you can take at your own pace. You can either just copy the late the the most recent version and just run the system or you can go through step by step and it will explain uh, how each bit of the, the programming works and how it evolved but uh, that, that was the general idea behind this uh, this project was to give a tutorial on how to program in Python